That burn was so fantastic, I need a gallon of milk and a tub of chapstick. Coming in this bitch with rhymes swinging and double backflips. If you can't keep up, I'm having fucking trouble practice. Welcome to After the Burn. Ugh. Oh, my goodness, we're recording right now. We're not ready for the show at all. Um, not, I am not. I'm sure Ricky is. I'm, I'm so, I just ate a whole ghost pepper. I talked a little bit of shit. And I ate some horrible stuff. <clears throat> all because we got a thousand subs, dog. I'm super pumped about that. My mouth is super sad currently. But what a cool thing that happened. I think it's cool. Dude, you were talking about getting a thousand subs over a year ago. I know. You had those peppers for like a year. Yeah. Yeah, I think from like the get go of the show, like they've been here for a minute. Yeah. Whew. Whew. Wow. I just read Twitch. Apparently, it's only funny when I suffer. Yeah. I don't know if I should feel bad it's about way, that, but it's way more funny when you suffer. Nice. Nice. Okay. Huh. Dude, it's it's a crazy thing, man. It's a crazy thing. Like, I don't even know how to describe it. Check. Huh? What's I gotta it? check. You're like, you're like famous. It's weird though. Like it's you're like, like you're like B list celebrity famous. Yeah, I would go C list. You know, definitely a C list. All right, all right. Yeah, yeah cool. I, I don't, I don't still don't get into the restaurants for free, but people kind of like maybe might know who I am. Oh, oh, what do God. five fingers say to the face? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so excited about that one. Oh. Man, I, I thought it was going to take forever to get here to a thousand subs. Um, I know that, like, it's not that big deal compared to everybody else, but it's cool. Like, this is a silly show that doesn't make any sense. You know, I don't teach you anything. It's not, it's not that you just hit the thousand, too. Like, you kind of blew on right by it. Like, yeah. 1.2? I mean, 1.21? Right. That's weird. That's a neat, like, like, a year ago. You know, I was like, yeah, I couldn't even fathom this. I thought I'd take, you know, whatever. Because it's, just, it's so, just a funny thing that we do. How many subscribers do you need to, like, live a comfortable life? Oh. Pfft. Like, you need, like, you need, like, a million? You need, like, 10 million? You need, like, 100 million? I don't know. I don't know. I've ne cause honestly, I never really researched farther than this. Like, you have, you have to hit certain things. You got to hit 1,000 subs and, like, a certain amount of watch hours, which I'm not at yet. But soon. And then you kind of know what happens. But I don't – I have no idea what the payout is. So – uh, I'm again, this was just for fun, an outlet to, you know, be creative on the weekly. So here it is. I'm just going to see where it goes. I'm, I'm pretty sure it pays out like a stream. <laughs> Probably point zero 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 two three cents per stream. You know, you do all this work, you get like 50 bucks a year. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, maybe, but I also kind of wonder, like, what if Takis or Pocky actually fucking found it at some point? And then you're getting free chips. I know that seems like silly, like free chips, right? But then, like, that's just one thing I don't have to pay for. You know, it's it's all kind of how you see it. Well, if it's a fun thing you do, and then it doesn't cost you to do anything, then it's kind of just neat. You know? I don't know. But then they would they would push to, like, promo it, you know? That's how the shit works. Yeah, I would assume. Or, they, I mean, they, maybe they want you to do that by yourself, whatever, but... You know, I think I'm, I know I know that I made it big when I get to say that I'm telling you about this great new mobile game called Blank Blank Legends. <laughs> we all know what I'm talking about. Okay, you not know? You not heard of? Oh, yeah. Oh, the the ad on YouTube. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'll be pretty excited that day when that happens. And apparently, Twitch says that the streams pay. It does pay out like music streams. So if we know. That's again like point zero zero two three cents see, per stream. But see, that's interesting though, because like, what if, what if you have an hour long view? How could that pay the same as a three minute song? Well, I mean, it, I mean, I, I'm sure it could, but why? That's not. Well, and I think at that point, if you're doing hour long segments or videos, or whatever, then you're gonna have in in stream ads, where like a ten minute one probably only has an ad at the beginning. A 30 minute one probably has an ad somewhere chilling in the middle. I think you definitely need ads right before each round, like right before you're about to start rapping. Yep. Yeah. Or at the very least at the beginning and then right before round three. Because round yeah. three is really where it gets nasty, you know? 
Yeah. And I don't want to put too many in there. You're here to enjoy the show. Again, this is about entertainment and having a good time. I don't want to put too much crap in there. Right when you pop the ramekin rubber band. Right before, it's like, oh, commercial. And they come back like this. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I don't know. It's it's all neat. It's all crazy. <clears throat> Sadie, I can't read your sarcasm. Yeah. But it's cool. It's fine. <laughs> It's so cool that like yeah, this, this is all, all of this is silly neat, silly. Hey, neat. so Very what's your next? What's your next goal? I think incrementally, it's tattoo goal. So I would say ten thousand. Something big has to happen at ten thousand. I don't know what. Ten thousand, dog. Ten thousand. Yep. I kind of wonder if it's gonna come quicker than. I mean, like. You know, it may not, but it also may. Well, it's a weird thing to to ponder about. Don't let sleep over it. Yeah, I think ten thousand something big has to happen. Ugh. Man, I was. <laughs> I can't believe that I ate a whole ghost pepper, right? Now, granted, dehydrated form. And I'm I'm this okay? Isn't the ghost pepper the thing that had me drinking a gallon of milk? Yeah, but was it? dehydrated no it was just chilling dude i have been dreading so it- those for a long time a long time i don't know why i thought dehydrated would be worse so is it safe to say that the dehydrated is not as hot i don't know because i also i read a funny article on doing research for the show um i was a little nervous that this was going to hurt me <laughs> eating it like i wasn't supposed mm-hmm. to eat this and i mm-hmm. read something that um, now again, this is just one article. So please, oh, it was the Reaper. It was not a ghost pepper. I think a Reaper is the one that wrecked me. And the Reaper is far hotter than a ghost. We didn't know that at the beginning of the show. Thank you, Twist. Thank you, Sadie. Yeah, I think it was the Reaper. I don't know. I'll have to go back. Maybe I'll even like, get an old cut of the video and bring it in right now. Probably not. Probably not. What was I saying? Oh. So in this you article, should. apparently people who eat a bunch of spicy stuff all the time, they basically <laughs> kill their taste buds so that things are lessened. So if I brought one of those over to your house, it may be a bad thing. Supposedly. Yeah. I don't know if that's actually true. Can you really? I mean, like, I guess you could burn your taste buds out. I'm yeah. sure you could build a tolerance. I'm sure you could. And I think at this point. I might have built up something. You would hope that I built up some kind, some some semblance of tolerance. I've been pretty consistent by eating yeah. hot shit for and a while. And you ate a gang of Serranos, but then you did. I mean, I don't even remember the last time you had a Serrano. No, I stopped getting them because I got like that weird, those weird like extra peppers, and then like the way that the yeah. show is transformed from, you know, what it was. It used to be like a switching off and forth. Now it's like, now, I use, well, with the exception of last episode, I use way less ramekins, which is super nice in the dishwasher. I ain't got to clean like fucking 12 of those bitches. <laughs> so, I mean, the, the show has definitely changed. There's like, I mean, like, I don't really go out since I found the, that like four pound bag of those red hot fuckers. They're dehydrated already. I don't have to go out and get them. Those dried ones. Man, those, those are pretty fucking hot, man. And it's weird because they kind of like stick yeah. to your wet mouth. They're like wet, and then they just like, right when they when they soak up all the moisture in your mouth, then they really start burning. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah. Da- they're a dangerous one. They're a dangerous one. So yeah, yeah. So I, you know, I don't know. Maybe I, one of these days, I gotta try it out. I feel like you were hating hating my bars right off the bat at the beginning of the show. No, dude, I love them. I love them. That actually, honestly, when you do that. It actually pumps me up to, to like it get I think that's honestly you started doing that shit and I've been doing better yeah. rapping. I think it pumps me up. It gets me in the rap zone. Yeah. I was I was just you, joking a little you, bit about the, the pre written. I hope you didn't take that seriously. But yeah. No, you wanna call me before you you know? Dude, if if I call you, no. I'm gonna I'm gonna have speakers in the background and we're gonna freestyle for a bit, okay? Like we used to, okay? You remember. You remember oh. before what? I was talking about before sex. Either way, before sex like or before the show. Give, I'll pump you up real quick. Yeah, yeah. That's gross. <laughs> that sounds gross. I'm not doing that. 
And, and like, yeah, see, and don't call me. I'm telling you. So the Twitch just said it. Your pre-written's are dope. Okay. Everything you hit is fucking fire. So I think when you say some shit like that, whether it's pre-written or off the fly, like Twitch, y'all don't know this dude right here, even though he thank, does he, his freestyle. Thank you, Sadie. His freestyles Thanks, are fucking fire. Okay. We used to, okay. Can I, can I tell him about the trailer park? Can I go back? No. Can I, I'm, can no, I, that's, that's Patreon episode. Patreon? I ain't got no. one of those. I don't have an OnlyFans. big enough yet. <laughs> and no, and then we're not going to talk about those no. stories about the trailer park. Okay, anyway, we used to hang out. Well, we hang out still. Yeah. Every Friday, we would come to our boy, B. Ferg's trailer park, right? We'd drink some beers, okay? We'd find a radio, and then we would turn it to the local hip-hop station. And then we would just sit there, drunk, freestyling for hours. Hours. We would just battle each other. For hours. While everyone else in the party did party things. Was having a party. Yeah, we just rapping. We just rap like yelling at each other about a foot away. Just spitting bars. Okay? For hours. And it and they, okay. weren't, they weren't all good either. They weren't. But you know when they you know when they were good? When it fucking counted. And I'm gonna tell you guys another little story about the trailer park, okay? We were freestyling, okay, and then some random dudes came to the party, okay? We thought rappers, ra- the yeah. ops, the ops, they, they came, they came. Like, I, 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 do, I, do you remember how these people showed up to the party? No. Two random no. people started. They came in. I don't know if they saw us freestyling or whatever or whatever happened. But all of a sudden we get in, into an impromptu freestyle battle at a trailer park with random people. OK. And we were like tagged. It was like a wrestling match. OK. Like, yeah, they yeah, would yeah, go. Was. One of them would go, spit some bars, blah, 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 blah. Then one of us would go. Then we kind of swapped around. That was some of the hottest freestyles I remember to this date, and I don't even remember what they were. But I remember that these random people out of nowhere just just said, oh, shit, oh, shit. And that that was it. That, that to me, what? was the day that I was like, yep, we're dope at this. <laughs> we, we, had, we, had it, we had MPB, right, at that time? I think we did. Oh shit! Mm, how old were we in 07? 16? I don't know. Twenty one. Oh oh seven? No. No. Born in eighty six. This is on screen math. Uh, just double check it real quick with the old calc. Okay. I don't think so. Well, it could have been 07 to the present. MPB is dope. Okay. Y'all isn't. Okay. Just boom. Boom. See, Twitch knows what's up. Say, do you know what's up? How? So Tw- 21, dog. We were, I, tw- we were 21. I did so the then, math. Then no, we did not. Because at the trailer park, we were not 21 when we were drinking adult beverages. Facts. Oh, word. <laughs> absolute facts <laughs> do, you, do you think maybe our song is wrong and it should have been 06 but i just couldn't couldn't make it hit as impactful so i changed it no because i think we were i don't know i think we were bullshitting about it for a long time and then we started doing it maybe i don't know or did that song come out in 07 i have no idea dude dude i don't know i really don't know i think we started in 07 though <clears throat> mm. i wouldn't be surprised I don't know. But yeah, it's 07 to the present, okay? We've been rapping forever, okay? Forever. No, we've been MPB rapping. We've been dope. rapping. We've been rapping since the fifth grade. I know. Fat, fat rap. Fat, fat, fat rap. Okay, y'all don't know real, about y'all know about the real fat rap. Stories, Sadie. So uh everyone had to break up in groups in the fifth grade. Fifth grade? Maybe fourth. Fifth, fifth. fourth. It was fifth. fifth. One of the two. And and like these people had protein and these people had vegetables and these people had fruit okay we got fats fats and then everyone had to make a group project it, didn't, it wasn't a song it was a group project we went straight to fat rap so we wrote we went home to adam's place you know he had the tuba mm-hmm. i brought my drum <laughs> we we wrote some bars down got them all good same shit same shit in the fifth grade that happens to this day <laughs> we go we show up 
I got through mine pretty successfully, and then Adam freestyled his entire thing. The entire but you thing. killed it. You killed it. I did. I did. I've, I've been destined to do this show since the fifth grade. Dude, I was nervous for you because we were in front of the class. Yep, and I didn't do well. Did not do well in front of the class. But I, was just, I, just, I just felt it, okay? Felt the no beat there, and I freestyled for the first time. Yeah. Fifth grade. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. And it all just the took. The teacher got up and screamed, "Bars!" Yeah, bars, bars. Go to the principal's office. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. So uh, that was just... the same class, by the way. We used to listen to Skilo. Mm-hmm. Whoever's birthday party it was, we'd put on Skilo. Yep, because Jenny would bring in the boombox. Yeah. Yep. And somebody had the tape. The tape? A CD. Evan did. It was a CD? E- Evan did. Evan had Skilo. Ah. Oh, yep. He's a G. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, he had Evan. The bangers. <laughs> yeah, he awesome. Did. From way back. Good job, Evan. Good job, Jenny. Nicely done, you guys. I don't know. I'm excited. Okay. I'm also feeling better. So, again, I think I have leveled up in my spice tolerance. Um, I'm a better rapper. Your bars are fucking fire. I love them at the beginning. And the impromptu one that you did somewhere in the middle. Didn't you do more raps? You did. You said some other rap. It was cool. I dug it. I nah, dug I it. Like. Okay, I like it. Okay. <clears throat> I don't. Whatever. I don't like saying raps unless like they hit. The only way for me to know that they hit is to like write them. I know. Yeah. That's even, why I'm not a freestyle guy. Even when I write them, they don't generally hit. So <laughs> just <laughs> I said, fuck it. I'll just say I'll just say some shit real quick. See what happens. <laughs> You know, apparently, it's apparently it's working out okay. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. That's fine. Don't change it. Fuck it. No, I'm not going to. Nope. Absolutely not. But I do think uh, you should eat one of these ghost peppers one day. Dog, I'd rather have a, another blue ramekin. Right here. What if oh. the blue? What if the blue ramekin is full of these? Well. I love this show. I love uh, all the people who are hanging out here doing this show. Yeah. Hell Crazy yeah. Piece. So, well, are we good, dog? I think that's, I think we're all set. Okay. Uh, one real quick thing. I need to make a shout out to uh, my buddy Jack. Okay. And my buddy Dan. Uh, not to end on a sour note because it isn't a sour note. I miss you, motherfuckers. Thanks for doing this. Thanks for uh, being part of the encouragement while we're here. Y'all the shit. And we miss you. But I am AKTMB, that right there, RJTWO, and we out this motherfucker. So say your shit, homie. Wait. Say your shit. All right. All right. Say your shit. Actions speak louder than words. Don't let your passion mask your work. My voice is louder than yours. You've just been burned. That burn was so fantastic, I need a gallon of milk and a tub of chapstick Coming in this bitch with rhyme swinging and double backflips If you can't keep up, I'm having fucking trouble practice Welcome to After the Burn, aka his mass at his turn But now you bastards to learn We plaster in the content and we fucking captured it firm Compelling or disastrous, you'll kinda have to return Plaster in the content and we fucking captured it firm Compelling or disastrous, you'll kinda have to return